China is the world's largest market for photovoltaic devices and thermal energy. Not only this, it is also the world's largest consumer of solar energy. Initially developed for space satellites, China's photovoltaic sector shifted its focus to domestic energy use in the late 1990s and has grown steadily since then. Following the introduction of significant government incentives in 2011, China's solar energy business experienced rapid growth, eventually becoming the world's top installer of photovoltaics in 2013. China overtook Germany by becoming the largest producer of solar energy in 2015, and it will be the first country to have more than 100 gigawatts of total installed photovoltaic capacity by the end of 2017. China's total installed photovoltaic capacity was 253 gigawatts at the end of 2020, accounting for one-third of the world's total installed solar capacity, which is 760.4 gigawatts. Chinese solar energy is generated primarily in the country's western province and distributed to other parts of the country through transmission lines. In 2011, China was the owner of the Huanghui Hydropower Gongwood Solar Park, which had a photovoltaic capacity of 200 megawatts and was the world's largest solar electric plant at that time. In 2018, the Tengger Desert Solar Park, with a photovoltaic capacity of 1.5 gigawatts, set a new world record for the largest solar power plant, a 2.2 gigaton solar power project on the island of Hainan in China. The Huanghui Hydropower Hainan Solar Park is the second largest solar power plant in the world. Currently, solar energy accounts for only a small fraction of China's overall energy consumption, accounting for only 3.5% of the country's total energy capacity in 2020. General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party and Paramount Leader Xi Jinping declared at the 2020 Climate Ambition Summit that China intends to have 1,200 gigawatts of combined solar and wind energy capacity by 2030, a significant increase from the current 900 gigawatts. Solar water heating has also been widely implemented, with a total installed capacity of 290 gigawatts at the end of 2014, accounting for around 70% of the world's total appointed solar thermal capacity at the time of writing. The rise of the solar energy business in China has been denounced because of the vast volumes of trash generated and poorly disposed of during the manufacturing of photovoltaic cells and other solar energy products. On the other hand, criticism has surfaced over the creation of enormous amounts of useless energy, as well as the forcible relocation of indigenous populations from their lands for development purposes and the use of forced labor in the production of solar cells. Solar energy is currently the most promising field for the generation of electricity today. The only significant disadvantage is the inability to run solar power plants at night, which is a considerable limitation. At the same time, as scientists from all over the world are searching for new and imaginative solutions to this problem, a Chinese firm, Xiaogang, has discovered a novel solution. It is possible to operate the new solar power plant which is worth $430 million and has a capacity of 100 megawatts, around a clock and without experiencing power losses. But more specifically, how were they able to accomplish this? The building of the Adelia Solar Oven, the world's largest solar oven complex at that time, was finished in 1968 by French designers. The structure, which is located in the south of France, comprises a big mirror that is 54 meters high and 48 meters wide. The tower is surrounded by mirrors, which absorb the sunlight and channel it to a mirror that concentrates it on the tower itself. For a brief while during that time period, scientists were able to increase the temperature in the tower to 3500 degrees Celsius in just a few moments. In contrast, at the time, the solar complex was envisioned as a scientific endeavor to study the sun, rather than as a power station for acquiring inexpensive electricity. After much deliberation, the Chinese corporation determined that it was past time to reconsider the experience of French building and put it into a commercial context. In its initial form, the Shou Xiaohang IHW Resources Saving Dunhuang Phase 2 project was intended to serve as a national demonstration project to examine the growth of solar energy from a different perspective. The installation of photovoltaic panels, which convert the sun's rays directly into power, has been increasingly popular around the world in recent years. Their effectiveness, on the other hand, is rather poor. 
advanced technologies are only capable of achieving a 50% efficiency, resulting in the waste of the other half of the available solar energy. Consequently, engineers and scientists from a Chinese corporation chose to place their bets on the less established part of the solar energy, which is now being explored. They made the decision to try to obtain electricity not directly, but more traditionally, by heating the coolant. Their efforts culminated in the construction of the world's largest technological tower. Several years were spent researching the erroneous selection of building materials before they were able to construct it. A building could be destroyed within a few hours after being constructed if the temperature difference at elevation and general weather conditions are not taken into consideration. It serves as a solar oven, concentrating the sun's rays on itself and supplying power to more than 10,000 heliostats from its 260-meter height. Heat can be raised from 500 to 1,000 degrees Celsius in a matter of seconds as a result of this phenomenon. Inside the tower, there is a molten salt that, when heated, is transferred to a designated storage area. There it heats the water to steam, which causes the generator to turn resulting in the production of electricity. Molten salt has the advantage of being cool for a long period of time, allowing water to transform into steam even when it is completely frozen. A new Chinese solar power plant has the ability to maintain the optimum temperature for up to 11 hours. This enables the populace to be provided with electricity at all hours of the day and night. Furthermore, the intelligent movement mechanism of the concentrators allows for the alteration of the angle of the mirrors, allowing for the constant preservation of the solar oven's high heating efficiency throughout the day, as previously stated. The new power plant encompasses an area of 8 million square meters, with a mirror area accounting for only 1.4 million square meters of the total size. In comparison, a nuclear power plant has a surface area of around 60 million square meters. As a result, the station is small enough to fit in a small space. And given the fact that the station does not generate trash, it is both environmentally beneficial and safe for the general public. As a result, this is one of the most promising alternatives to traditional CHP, combined heat and power plants, and nuclear power plants that rely on fossil fuels for their energy. Even at northern latitudes, where both the amount and intensity of sunshine are reduced, the company claims a solar power plant may be built, and with a capacity of 100 megawatts of power, which produces 390 kilowatt hours of electricity each year. It will be able to provide the population with affordable electricity around the clock. Another distinguishing feature of the new Chinese power plant is its design. The construction process is likewise moving at breakneck speed. From the time the foundation for the tower was poured to the time it was integrated into the overall energy network, everything was done with care. It barely took a year and a half to complete, despite the fact that we recall that several years were spent on study prior to the start of construction. As a general rule, the advantages of such power plants are indisputable. As a starting point, it provides a solution to the age-old challenge of generating solar electricity throughout the night hours. Second, it is a highly effective and reasonably priced source of electricity. Third, this station allows for the annual conservation of fossil fuels equivalent to 667 hectares of forest due to its energy efficiency. Moreover, the business emphasizes that it is prepared to accept applications for the building of such structures anywhere in the world, providing both specific technology solutions and full-fledged construction services from the ground up as needed. Until recently, Concentrated solar power or CSP technologies were losing ground to photovoltaic panels in terms of popularity and investment development. Nevertheless, in recent years, in conjunction with the technological barrier to the expansion of the efficiency of the solar panels and the complexity of their disposal, the interest of business people has begun to shift in the opposite direction. As a matter of fact, in addition to generating electricity for industry and the general public, CSB also supplies a much-needed thermal factor for winter heating, the conduct of chemical reactions in factories, and the creation of specific items. Because it is more environmentally beneficial and does not necessitate a significant amount of recycling, CSB technology may be the most treasured desire of mankind, the ability to generate completely clean and efficient energy. And who knows what else? 
Perhaps it is this technology that will enable humanity to avoid the worst effects of global climate change. Do you believe their solar power plant will dominate the solar industry? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video so that it encourages us to bring you more amazing and interesting videos every day. That said, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.